got the save point. I know how to use health packs now. It's time to go find this private elevator in Fontaine's office. Luckily this place has quieted down quite a bit. But everything has been cleared out at this point, so we can once again move freely in here. Doing a little extra looking around here, see if anything else new showed up or any enemies have respawned somewhere that maybe I can access now. I don't recall seeing a lot of areas I couldn't get to the first time around, but you know, we are getting pretty close to wrapping up the campaign, so I'm just doing a little little looking around. guys are right where I left them, so... Uh, kind of changed my mind. I don't really want to look anymore in this area. So if you remember the first time that we visited the Manta Ray Lounge, we came across the three bottles after completing the optional quest, and right next to those bottles, or but, as I should say, behind the door for the bottles, we found, we pretty much found the connection between Atlas and Fontaine, um, or at least Elizabeth did, since that's, you know, her first time coming across that information. Uh, but right back there, we also came across what looked like a, a locked door, or, I mean, I think the first time I saw it, it just looked kind of like a a wall that you couldn't interact with, but that is in fact the the private elevator for uh, access to Fontaine's Fontaine's office. So we're gonna head there now, and in typical Bioshock fashion, or really shit, typical any game fashion. Uh, most all of the enemies will have respawned, or at least improved in, uh, in killing power. supposed to be power. a brunette. Anyone seen her? Look around! It's a situation where I wonder if I had shot sooner, if I could actually save them. Show yourself! <laughs> See, even though the fireman doesn't see us anymore, still just kind of starts Where throwing fireballs around. Lady, you're working my last nerve, gun. There's a I can see. <laughs> kind of looks like an AOE explosion of some sort. Uh, Otherwise, I, mean, I didn't see him fire any of the actual projectiles, so I guess that's that's what hurt us then. Come out. Let's get this over with. Power to you, sister. He's really mobile, so right now, since I haven't seen one be this active, on. I'm just kind of waiting to see if one of his points will be right there.
So this room is not going to have changed much from the last time we were here. The, the, only, the only thing that's happened is uh, there's been a little more destruction, so some of the points we've seen, uh, and I'll, I'll point it out where, but you know, there's an air grabber point that's down, and a few different groupings of enemies once we get downstairs, but for the most part it's not terribly different, and this would be a good time if you've saved any of your your gas grenade ammo to have that out and ready to use when we get again like once you get down past these stairs is kinda where that'll come into play so you're gonna notice right here uh, this air grabber point that was there is now gone so they don't want you taking the easy way around um, last time you could use that to access kind of a sneakier way uh, as you saw in the last part but not that big of a deal right now if you get downstairs and aggro a bunch of these guys that's kind of where uh, like I said that gas ammo is going to come into use so oh and now they're upset you can hear them so um, if you stockpiled that ammo and you know you want to set up any traps too if you piss off one of these guys they're all going to everyone in the room is going to wander towards you so just be prepared for that with whatever you need or whatever you prefer so you'll see here in a second um, I'm going to try to use Old Man Winter but of course I do not yep there we go do not have enough for it um, I'm actually kind of ashamed at how of how few applications I actually put into use uh, for plasmid, uh, plasmid combos and vigors depending on which one you think applies more here um, but you know as I've said before if you guys have found better applications for these or more interesting diverse combinations by all means let me know I might have to work together another another playthrough and and string them together don't think you can hide I've never heard an enemy be in support of me getting away. That's great. Glad he's on the right side. Imagine having this situation without having the upgrade to Peeping Tom. It would be hell. stare at me, they know where I am, and yet they don't. This guy's just a dick. Contemplated going off my, my no-kill run. 
Ever and over that shotgun with full ammo looked a little tempting. You wouldn't be I see it. Don't think you can hide. What is it? You still here? Here, aren't you? It didn't quite work out like I hoped. This hide and seek. You're still here, aren't you? So again, you've seen me do this before, you know, it might not be the most exciting way to get through the game, but at least on 99 mode where things are a little more dangerous, um, I've just kind of resigned to being a little, a little safer, plus I'd rather not have to let you guys see me die every other minute, so it takes a little longer, but it's effective. Disappear from sight. Oh, we're already very well acquainted with that. Party's over, huh? Ryan said the girl's gotta die first. I don't ask questions. <laughs> I want to do that. The guy made a city at the bottom of the ocean, and they thought it was a wise idea crossing here. Not sure which one of these jerks thought it was a good play getting in the ring with Ryan. So they can hear the faintest footstep, but they can't hear a secret door opening and unlocking. Fontaine and Atlas. Son of a bitch. Kinda thought we had already covered that, but uh I don't know, maybe she forgot. They thought it was a wise idea crossing here. You judge a man by his enemies, then Ryan doesn't amount to much. Some skirt in a bunch of mental cases. Heard that. Ryan said the girl's gonna die first. I don't ask questions. All right, here we go. Elizabeth, you know Atlas is going to. I know. And I'm ready. Are you sure? I sent myself here for a reason, didn't I? Who exactly are you speaking to, Miss Comstock? If I were less acquainted with the vicissitudes of genius, I suspect I would question your sanity. I know so little of you, but I imagine the more I learned, the more exceptional I would find you. You know Atlas will betray you. And what are you, my best friend? You're one of a kind in this world. Or others. And now, your misguided sense of altruism sends you to your doom. 
It's like watching Isaac Newton die in a house fire. A vain attempt to save his cat. Damn it. Okay, let's try this again without hitting the button twice. There, there, there. All the load-bearing columns come into this room and they meet... They meet there. I just need to place the particle in that junction, activate it, and the whole structure should rise. Just give a, you know, a look around. Make sure... Uh, There's no plan B. Oh, fine. Might as well just get it over with. Kashmir's all on the hill. If Ryan didn't know we were back before, I'm sure now he's got the message. What do you want with this one? If anybody's got the line on the ace, it's her. Find out what she knows. But no quackery. She's no good to us with a halo and a set of wings. I get started as soon as the chloroform wears off. Don't see her as too tough a nut. talking about look we had a deal where I... is the ace in the hole i told you i told do... him serpentor are you familiar <clears throat> no truth serum unpredictable stuff <sighs> too little nothing i have too nothing much. to tell the you i don't even you know what an ace in the hole is ah I'm still playing with the dosage. This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made, and men who make it. Folks, 
say it's only a matter of time until Atlas of the Fire Mob comes out waving the white flag. Two weeks. What? <coughs> You've been down two <coughs> weeks, Loaf. Feckin' doctors. Better off hiring a million monkeys. Our deal was to get you out of prison. What, did you expect me to win your war for you, too? I'd tend to your own knitting if I were you. Now, darling, being that you were Su Chong's lab assistant and all, why not tell me where me ace in the hole went? I don't know. As I said, I'm no doctor. But that doesn't mean I don't find the field fascinating. I keep up on all the medical journals and the like. I hope you have someone to help you with all the big words. You know what part of the brain free will comes from? Stubbornness? The prefrontal lobe. Now, I think it's fair to say you're a bit of a stubborn one, are you not? A man named Steinman taught me this. He's a bit of a lunatic, but a fine surgeon. He calls this little trick a transorbital lobotomy. Take hold of her, lads. You're wasting your now, time. If you won't remain still, I can't be held responsible for what comes next. Here we go. You feel that? I'm moving the pick across your eyeball. Still now. And resting it on your skull. There's about a bit over a quarter of an inch of bone between the pick and your prefrontal lobe. And that's where this little fella comes in. I don't... Uh, it was just a wee tap. But I don't expect it'll take more than a few of those to reach the meat. And then we might find you a bit less the mule. Where's me ace in the hole? I don't know. You know right. what else rests in the lobe? Creativity. Uh, Individuality. Uh, personality. Uh, in short, what makes you, you. Uh, I'm just about through now. Last chance, pet. Where is the ace in the hole? <laughs> or what? What, you'll put a hole in my head and take away my memories? You want to make me forget all this? You want to make me not care anymore? Go ahead. You'll be doing me a favor. Oh! Bring in the monster! You're a regular hero, ain't you? Can't risk ripping the only part of you that's worth the damn. Well, there's more than one way to fry an egg. Now, little one, are you familiar with the term transorbital lobotomy? Please let her it's go! It's a simple matter. All I need to do is insert this pick into please, your eye. Please, I don't know and anything! Do a few I, taps with me. Hammer. I don't know anything! Better to show by example. Please! Please don't! I, I don't know anything! I, I don't know! Please! Tell him what I don't know. Where are we? You saw all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. The ace in the hole. It's here. Yes. But I don't... I don't remember this place. You've never been here. Then how would it... The memories you lost, they weren't just of the past. You saw behind all the doors. Even the ones into the future. I'm going. If you want. I... I don't like it here. It's a bad place. He's never gonna let me go, is he? Even if I bring him the ace. Then why am I here? How if I was so smart? If I saw so much, why just send myself to the slaughter? For Sally. No, one day he will just rip her open and tear out her atom. All of this for nothing. Why did I do it? Why? You have to decide. Decide what? To take a leap of faith. I can't tell you what you were thinking because you don't remember. But you chose to come. There. In that room. The ace. 
please. I don't know what to do, Booker. I... B Booker? Booker! No, please. Please just don't leave me here! Booker! Chong's clinic. It's at Su Chong's clinic. That's a bit convenient now. Ryan's got every turret in the place tuned to me and me man's genetic code. We'd be torn to shreds before we got ten feet. That's right. Which is why I'm gonna do it for you. You okay with that? Get me the ace. I'll wrap the brat in a silk ribbon. Bag her and bring her to my bathosphere. <sighs> I'll show you how to get inside. <coughs> we'll be waiting for you when you come out. Shake a leg now, the Lord. Home stretch, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs>